In 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space, opening a new chapter in human exploration and inspiring hundreds of people around the world to follow in his footsteps, some of them quite literally. Legend goes that Gagarin desperately had to urinate before liftoff, so he asked the bus to stop, and since they were in the middle of a flat, featureless landscape, he went against the rear wheel. That act is now immortalised as a pre-launch ritual by cosmonaut crew members who take it in turns to pee on the rear wheel of their bus before they get on board. We'd be right in calling ritualistic behaviour irrational. After all, peeing on the rear wheel of a bus isn't going to make spaceflight any safer. So why do we do it? According to psychologist Christine Lagarde, it's a reflection of the way the human brain works. And the human brain is inherently irrational. Our minds are always seeking out patterns, even when they don't exist, often seeking out connections between cause and effect, sometimes without any evidence of their truth. With this in mind, rituals provide us with the same satisfaction as everyday tasks that have known positive beneficial effects, like brushing your teeth. And so in part, rituals exist to provide us with the illusion of control over our otherwise random lives. Gagarin plays a pivotal role in the traditions carried out by modern cosmonauts. Since he made his historic flight, all cosmonauts now visit his office after their training finishes to sign his guest book and ask his ghost for permission to go into space. But although this superstitious behaviour seems irrational, scientists have shown that there's evidence of real beneficial effect. A study on basketball players suggested that athletes who perform pre-event rituals tend to report low levels of anxiety and greater levels of confidence. Another suggests that participating in superstitious behaviour can improve motor dexterity and memory. Research suggests that the nature of the ritual determines how effective it will be. The more complex and detailed it is, the more convincing it becomes. So for the Russians, the tradition of following so firmly in the footsteps of Gagarin from the training centre to the launch of the rocket provides them with a powerful ritual that prepares them for the lack of control they feel over what might be the most dangerous eight minutes of their lives. Religion is a recent addition to space rituals. In 1994, cosmonaut Alexander Viktorenko requested a blessing from an Orthodox priest before his mission. And this has since become a pre-launch ritual. Even NASA and ESA astronauts leaving from Baikonur receive an orthodox blessing. And that includes Tim Peake. Ritualistic behaviour brings people together, providing social cohesion when there's little or no intimacy to be had. And where could that be more important than for a crew in space? It cements the crew's relationship with each other. It provides an all-important link to Earth, and it provides them with a sense of connection with their place in human history. <laughs>